All right, hey everybody, Evan here from devsun.com. And in this video, we're gonna be covering input types. So we actually already went over inputs in our earlier video, but now we're going to be covering different input types and how they affect our variables when we bind them. So let's go ahead and create our first input type. So I'm just gonna put an input tag here and I'm gonna set the value equal to name. We actually need to create a name variable up at the top here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right there. And now to actually bind this value, if you remember, all we have to do is type bind colon value and now this value will be binded together with our variable up here and we're going to go ahead and give this type and set it equal to text all right so now if we go to our browser we're going to see our input box up at the top here and of course we can type any text we want into this well now let's go over the next input type which is going to be our number so i'm going to say number we're going to bind this to our num variable so i changed the bind value to num which is the variable we set up here and I also put the type as number so now if we actually look at our second input which is our number input we can see that I can't actually type any text into it however I can't type numbers we also have these two arrows at the right here to signify that we can increase the number by one or we can decrease it and now the next thing we're going to go over is the checkbox input so I'm going to type input type equals checkbox and we're going to bind the value checked equal to a variable we have and as let's say is checked i'm going to set that equal to false and then we're going to put is checked inside of our curly braces here and now if we go to our browser we're going to see that we have the checkbox at the bottom here if i click on it it's going to show a check mark if i unclick it it's going to go back to false and essentially what that's doing is it's basically flip-flopping this is checked variable from true to false so if i had it true by default and we go back to our browser it's going to show it as checked by default and if i click on it it toggles it all right now let's show some group inputs now group inputs can be uh you could think of them as radio buttons or maybe you have a list of check boxes so i'm just going to show the radio button example here so in order to create a group input all i'm going to do is i'm going to create a label you don't have to create a label i'm just doing that for visibility purposes and then we're going to put our input i'm going to have the type set to radio for radio button and i'm going to have the value equal to one i'm going to say one here and i'm going to go ahead and add a bind colon group and i'm going to set it equal to value and we're going to create a value variable up here and i'm going to just have that set equal to one by default and this variable name can be whatever you want. I'm just naming it value. If I go ahead and copy this about two more times and I'm gonna change this one's value to two, change it to two here, change the value of this to three and then change this to three. Now, if I go ahead and save that, we're gonna see we have our radio buttons here and one is already selected by default because again, I set it to one by default up here. But if I go ahead and click on two, it's gonna remove it from one and add it to two. And if I click on three, it's gonna remove it from two and add it to three. And just to show you, if I were to set this value equal to two, by default, it's going to show two. So this, these three radio buttons right here are a group input. We're basically grouping them together to set one value. All right, so the next thing we're going to cover is the select binding. So let's go ahead and type select, and we're going to bind this value equal to selected. And we're going to go ahead and create that variable up at the top here. So I'm going to say let selected. Then we're going to have our closing tag here and inside of our select, we're going to add some options. Now I actually don't have any options created currently, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to say, let questions equal in an empty array. And we're going to have two objects here. I'm going to have ID one text. What is your favorite color? And then I'm gonna create another object here with an ID of two and text, what is your favorite fruit? And now if we go back down to our select tag here, inside we're going to use the each loop that we learned in a previous video. If you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest you go check that out. We're gonna type hashtag each, and then we're gonna type the name of our array list here, which is questions. So each questions, and then we're gonna say as, and then we're gonna create a variable name for each one of our elements. Elements. I'm just going to call it question. You can name this whatever you want. And then we're going to add a closing each tag. And now inside, we're going to put our options. So I'm going to type option. The value is going to be set to question here. 
and inside our option we're going to put curly braces question and then we're going to put dot text because we want this text property here what is your favorite color or what is your favorite fruit to go inside of our option all right now if i go ahead and save this and we go to our browser we're going to now see what is your favorite color and if i click on this we're going to see our two options here what is your favorite color and what is your favorite fruit now if i click on what is your favorite fruit it's going to change the value to what is your favorite fruit and that's going to basically cover all the basic inputs and how to bind them i'm going to have all this source code down in the description down below if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below or you can join the devison discord server and either myself or someone else will be able to help you out there anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video